So today for 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about something that's not related to astrology, um, as I'll sometimes do with these. So I figured since October starts tomorrow that I would get into a little bit of a ghost experience that I personally had. Okay, so a few years ago when I was in school, I had a part-time job at a residential home for teenage girls. So a couple times a week I would work overnight and I'd have to stay awake the whole night and I usually only worked with one other person. The house I worked in was really old and it was, let's see, three stories. And all the girls slept on the top floor. So as like workers working there, you had to have at least one person always on the top floor with the girls. So, you know, during the night, um, there was a kitchen downstairs and there was a basement below that. So you could go downstairs one of you at a time to like eat dinner or something like that. Um, and we also were responsible for washing towels and sheets. So to do that, you had to go down in the basement while the other person was all the way up on the top floor. There was rumors from people that had worked at this job for a long time um, that said that the basement was haunted. Like I said, the building was really old and there were some rumors about somebody that had died there in the past. And some people that had worked there for a long time refused to do laundry. Like they just wouldn't go down in the basement at night or they'd wait until the sun came up. Um, and I just never really cared. I just didn't care. I was like, whatever, like I'll do the laundry, take a break, go down in the basement and do that. It just never really bothered me. You know, it was kind of creepy, but I was like, whatever, everything's fine. I don't think that this is haunted. Well, I was wrong. Clearly, which is why I'm telling this story. So, one night I was talking to one of my coworkers, and we were talking about the fact that, you know, the basement was haunted. So maybe this put, like, a thought in my mind, but we were, like, briefly talking about it. And she said, you know, I don't want to go down there. I've had some weird experiences lately, do you mind doing the laundry tonight? So I don't know if she was like just trying to get out of it, or she she seemed legit though. She seemed like she had had some strange experiences, <laughs> like she was kind of freaked out. Um, like I said, I only worked there once or twice a week, um, so I wasn't there all the time, and I don't know, she said that lately weird things have been happening. So I was like, yeah, whatever, that's fine, I'll go down. So I went down to the basement, and it was during the middle of the night, so it was like, you know, dark outside. And I put in some clothes in the laundry, and I went back upstairs, and everything was fine. A little while later, I, you know, went down again, put towels in the dryer, and then, again, everything was fine, nothing strange, and, you know, just continued my night at work. So, I went down a third time, and before that, I stopped, you know, in the kitchen, I think I was, like, having a snack or something, and all of a sudden I heard footsteps and I was like what like what is that and I was like that's weird like who's coming down at 3 in the morning right now because all the girls were asleep and obviously like I said my coworker isn't allowed to leave the top floor so I hear footsteps and nothing happens so we had phones that connected throughout the floor so I called upstairs and I was like hey did anybody just come down the stairs I thought I heard something she was like no what are you talking about so I was like, all right, whatever. I don't know why I thought it would be a great idea to go into the basement after I heard mysterious footsteps, but um, I did it anyways. So I went down the basement, and like I told you, the last time I've been down there, I put towels in the dryer. I come down. The dryer has moved to a different location on the floor. Like, I'm not joking. I'm not making this up. This is 100% true. The door was open and all the towels were like laid out over the opening of the dryer. It was like a square dryer, so they were kind of like folded outward. And I was like, what? I was so freaked out. So at that point, I was like, I'm not dealing with this. Like I already had heard stories about this place, you know, the basement being haunted. And like, here I am and the dryer has literally moved from one place where I left it to another location. Like I have no idea how that happened. And the door had somehow opened itself, which okay, maybe a dryer door opened itself, but it moved, it was open, and the towels were literally folded over the front. At that point I was freaked out, so I started like quickly moving up the stairs, like doing a pretty quick jog, and I like had this feeling, and I looked behind me, and keep in mind it was dark, because I couldn't like leave the lights on down there, I was shutting them off as I was like kind of like quickly getting up the stairs. I look behind me, and I see a dark shadowy figure, and I'm not like making this up, 
I worked there for a couple years and nothing like this ever happened again and nothing like this had ever happened before. And I looked behind me and it was just like this tall, dark, shadowy figure just standing there. I couldn't like make out any features. I was so freaked out that I like went bolting up the stairs, out of the basement, and then up to the top floor. And I was like, oh my God, like that's so creepy. So <laughs> I totally believed everybody that said it was haunted and I stopped thinking I was like, you know, above that and like everything was fine. It wasn't fine. So um, I did continue like doing stuff down in the basement, but I would always wait till it was like light out because that freaked me out. That was weird. So that is my haunted ghost story. Um, guys, share some of your stories down below. I definitely want to do some more fun 5 Minute Friday videos um, for this month that are, you know, like maybe Halloween related, ghost related, true crime stuff, whatever. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down below. Ew. Excuse you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down below and don't forget to leave your ghost story. Have a good day or night. Don't get eaten by a ghost.